for gadget on it. Oh, it's better? Okay. <laughs> Sorry again. <laughs> so, uh, how many people though knows what package is in FreeBSD is? Okay. Excellent. So, uh, for the others, package is a tool, is a new package management tool into FreeBSD who helps you to uh, install binary packages into the system, solve all the problems you have with dependencies. So package uh, basically is a, a binary tool, but you can extend it through plugins uh, to access the database to run special commands after some actions. You can put hooks on it so you can do extra stuff after a command. Maybe even you can replace a command and write something different you want to to to, uh, to do with packages. So it's pretty flexible. So you can uh, write whatever you write whatever you want and uh, do uh, your custom things for your production servers or for home. So what that's basically what I did. So package provide is a plugin uh, to found which package you must you install if you want to have a spe uh, defined, uh, a binary or a tool you want to, inst to, to, to use. So it's something like uh, Yum provides, so maybe some of yours, some of you knows what Yum provides is. Uh, so it's, uh, the tool is, comes, uh, the, 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 the plugin comes into uh, the FreeBSD ports uh, very uh, recently, uh, I committed it in the, at the end of January. So, actually, it's not uh, in uh, people using uh, the um, the quarterly package. Doesn't uh, I have access to the tool? But uh, the ones who use latest uh, package can have access to it. So I think it does, takes a few weeks before uh, the tool will be available for everyone. So. This is to, uh, an example of the command line. So you just have package is the name of the tool. Then provides to, is the command that you want to provide something. And the, the name of the file you're looking for. And the second command is to update the package provide database. So we use a specific database with different from package. We need to recompute all the package informations to have all the files you can have for the into the into the FreeBSD packages. Uh, this is a, a, a schema explaining how this uh, information I got. So uh, we use the package info coming from the official FreeBSD package repositories. Uh, I have some uh, Ruby scripts running on my server, so computing all the information and provide uh, some large raw text files with all the files we can have for packages and the corresponding package. So, um, this is an example if uh, you want to uh, search for Vim, because in FreeBSD by default you have VI not Vim, you can uh, tap this command and look exactly which package which provide, will provide the, the tool. In FreeBSD we have two, we have Vim and Vim Lite, who is the very smallest package. So maybe you will be interested to know whose package provides uh, a specific file. So you can also use regular expression in the search. Uh, it's used uh, per compatible regular expression, so you are basically able to search for whatever you want. Of course, you're not uh, limit to the, limited to the binaries. You can also search for including files for C or C++, Perl modules, uh, libraries. So sometimes when you're writing a tool or you are compiling something not coming from the, the, the operating system you're using, sometimes you have problems with dependencies and you don't know exactly which dependency, dependency is missing. So this tool can help you solve this kind of problems. Uh, 
This is another example. This is the, the output we got after you type the comments for Vim. Uh, as you see, we can have two different uh, Vim package. And uh, also we have the repo because in package you can, uh, in package tool, you can have multiple, multiple repositories. So it's, uh, it's a good way to know exactly where this package from, come from. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I, I did it faster. So I can have a plenty of time for questions after that. So uh, <laughs> this is um, something about the future, things I want to implement. I want to improve first the way I store information because actually I'm using a raw text file and regular expression to search on it. So it's uh, not that slow, but it's a little bit slow. <laughs> Uh, so improve the speed, it's also a good thing, and m maybe making uh, my, the services, the way I serve the files more secure, using HTTPS and maybe signing files. Actually, it's, there's no security at all. So, yes. um, this is other things we can think about is, uh, why not making uh, this feature official and have the uh, the, the database file directly accessible from the, 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 the FreeBSD builder uh, once they, he builds the package. So you have an official database for the provides file. So it could be better. And uh, another thing is we can also think about building other tools using this database. I have some examples I can show you after. Yes, demo time. Uh, can I move? Yeah. Yes. So everyone can see it. It's bigger enough. Okay. Let's try uh, the the Vim search. So you can see this is a very slow laptop. So don't expect it to come so fast. Uh, uh, I show you the Vim, the, the Vim query. So, yeah, takes time. <laughs> yes, as you can see, you can you can have all the information, including you see on the top you have all the other packages coming with Vim stuff. Uh, sometimes you have ZF, uh, ZSH uh, uh, um, files for completion and so on. So. It's, uh, it's easy to, to know exactly what's going on. And when I was talking about other tools, I, um, I do a, a, a very simple ZSH script. Um, so let's, as an example, it's, let's think we are, I want to run GIMP and don't have GIMP into my computer. So, but I think maybe I am. Uh, so I type GIMP. Of course, it takes time to answer. Sorry for the, the delay. And yes, you can have this kind of information. Since ZSH doesn't find the, 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 the file you want to command, you want to run, he calls package and package provide and uh, found exactly the package you want to install. That can be that could, could be a, one of the funny features we can come with uh, using the, the provide database. Um, this is my uh, more official post. You can see we have a package provide database for basically all the architectures in FreeBSD, mostly, at least for the, the one we support. So um, there's no limitation for uh, depending on the version. And basically, uh, if you're not using FreeBSD, uh, I know a little bit, um, I'm, I know there's other uh, operating system who use package, so this tool can be also used in others, uh, other systems using package. It's no, there's no limit. So maybe, yes, you have, if you have questions, yes. Okay, 
So the question is how do I deal with plist because uh, in basically in FreeBSD packages in source we have a, a plist for each port except for those who has a automatic plist and he's, the, the plist is generated during the build. So there's no way to know exactly which uh, files will come. So um, basically I have a I have a discussion with, um, I don't remember the name, sorry. Uh, the man who runs uh, the, um, the fresh ports, because fresh ports comes with uh, something like, uh, like this, this feature, but uh, he used uh, the source, the ports, the ports uh, tree. I'm not using the ports tree, I use directly the packages. I, I extract because it's, it's very funny because packages come in with two main files. The first is a, a, a description of what this package has, a list of files, etc., dependencies, and so on. Then another tor file with the informations uh, with the, the real files. So you can, uh, you can uh, download only the first bytes of the package and extract the first part of the file. So you don't need to download all the packages and it's pretty fast and, uh, and efficient. So, so I, don't, I don't need to um, uh, take all the time from the package uh, servers. Yes, that, uh, that's the way uh, I, I'm working with uh, for the, to build the database. Uh, another question? Okay, I think we are. Then thank you very much for the talk. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, they, they, oh they, they, you don't have my file? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I thought they were working. 